Is that comfortable? Maybe it was before your brother climbed on you? Yeah, they might have locked you. So, um, James has found a spot. Yeah. That's a good spot. That's good. Annual pump. All right, guys, come. Nathan, come with me. Yeah? Ah, fridge and freezer. Very cool. You're going to go down that way? Okay, so yeah, I'm coming with you. Yeah, I'm feeding me through this, kiddo. Hang on. Thanks, Charles. Are you the bathroom again? Wow, that's a pretty big shower. Very cool. Oh, it does have a scrubby dummy. It's just my car. Yeah. Don't get in the shower. No, I can't get in the shower. There's a really big bathroom in here. There's a closet and stuff in here too. Oh, this is nice. You can actually get around both sides of the bed. I mean, it's not. It's not fair game. Look at that. Yeah, it's hot. Just look with your eyes. Yeah, but he's not a headroom. I mean, you can get up yeah, in I there. Can, I can stand. I'm almost six feet, so. Yeah. Kind of. It's kind of? Like the latches are cool. You just lift them up. Yeah, I like that. In the front. I didn't like the weird hidden hatches flashing yeah, on the yeah. Nice, clean face, but... Yeah, probably. So this one's a bit of a climb. Yeah, that's right. Climb it, it's nice. Yeah, sure. I'm going to put the mirror there so I'm going to add a little bit of weight. Naga? Yeah. But... Yeah. Can you guys climb up, please? Yeah, I'm not good. You're going to go to the other side and it empties out. Yeah. You know, that's what I was noticing because they've got the quarter bumpers on some of these. Oh, this is nice. This is big for the 40 foot size. Yeah. 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 Shower? Yeah. I am checking it out. with you. James, come back. I'd like to see the helm station. Home station? I, I 
Can I you can hold it, yep. Can't see much of anything. <laughs> I see him standing. Standing, you can see. Hey. That doesn't go up or down. It's nice up here, but there's no handrail on the side. Yeah. That more of a grid like one on the entire. Not as big as maybe this. So where are the window controls? Must be a remote. James. Come on. I can't believe you still have a sweatshirt on. Come on. Oh, we're going this way. I'm sure you could add a handrail. Nice clean deck though on the car. No, nope, come on. Nope, I gotta wait. Hang on. <laughs> yep, need to hold somebody's hand. Move on to the next one. James. Is it down? Got it. Okay. Welcome back for another boat review. This week we're looking at the Fountain Peugeot Lucia 40 Catamaran. Uh, and I'm excited to start the line of Fountain Peugeot boats because they've been a favorite of mine for many years. Uh, I've always liked the styling and aesthetics of the Fountain Peugeot catamarans. Uh, so let's dig into it with the smallest in the line, the Lucia 40. Sure. So we'll start off on boarding the back of the sugar scoops, nice wide sugar scoops, uh, just two steps up into the main salon area. Um, lots of seating out there. So this particular unit um, had a large bench seat towards the back of the salon, um, as well as wooden table with an L-shaped settee and another sun seat as well down there. Again, lots of seating, lots of space. Uh, that rear bench seat uh, looked comfortable, um, very fashionable with kind of like the pillow look to it, um, but they were resting up against just metal bars, so I'm not sure long term or really heavy winds, you'd be pulling all those cushions off that. Um, Again, looked nice, looked very comfortable. Um, maybe not the most practical design. Um, seating around that L-shaped dinette. There are also two folding chairs to go on the other side. Even with those two folding chairs out into that salon, there was still a decent amount of room to walk around. So if you are hosting people and you do have people sitting in those other two chairs, you can still access the interior of the boat to get to the kitchen or to the head, um, even with people sitting at those chairs. Agreed. So lots of space, and it was decently well laid out, and at least from my opinion. I like the layout, and they're a lot, of, uh, definitely better than the the Antares. Um, <laughs> yeah. Felt more comfortable, uh, much less crowded and cramped feeling. Uh, felt really spacious, actually. Uh, just a nice layout. Um, the the bench seat in the back. I think that's really just for when you're at anchor or at uh, at the slip. Uh, I don't really see that being a place where you're gonna ride out 
a passage or anything, but right. you know, it gives you more space for when you're entertaining guests on board. Um, I did like that the uh, the helm station was accessible through the the, uh, the main cockpit area. Mm -hmm. um, it's fully enclosable, so that you can yep. get uh, clears and screens to go all the way around floor to ceiling, uh, and, and totally enclose that space. Which uh, also kept your helm, although <clears throat> seated above the outdoor salon, still within earshot of any guests or other other passengers you may have along with you. Yeah, and this has been a tradition with uh, Fontaine Peugeot mm -hmm. uh, boats anyway. They, they've, or their, their, at least their previous management had a thing against flybridges. So uh, you get the raised helm station that just sticks up a little bit above the coach roof. Um, on this boat, it's not a solid roof. It's a, it's a bimini type uh, pole and canvas setup. Uh, no hard windscreen on the front. So if you want that enclosed, it's going to be eyes and glass or something wrapped around you. Uh, there's a little stair ladder up to the coach roof mm -hmm. right next to the, the helm station. I think that's fine if you're not going to enclose that, but I think if you're enclosing the, the helm station, that's probably going to be more of a hassle to get up and out of there. I think you're probably more likely to pop out through the door and climb around up in, in front. Yep. Uh, so is that little stair there useful? Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. You'd have to, you'd have to try it out for a while to see how well that worked. Yep. So leading, leading forward from there, uh, out, out onto the weather decks, um, Nice wide weather decks, flat, uh, flush hatches, uh, except for the very first hatches up front where yeah. your uh, sail lockers would be. Uh, those were raised, but uh, most of the hatches are all flush, especially where you're going to be doing lots of traffic. Mm -hmm. um, this boat has the older fashioned net style trampoline mm -hmm. and you sink into it like crazy. <laughs> I almost fell over when I stepped on it the first time. It's so, so saggy. Um, so I'm definitely a fan of the mesh style as opposed to the net style. Um, the nice thing about the net is you, you can see better, so you can mm -hmm. see down into the water really well. And if yeah. you did get waves over the, over the bow, it's going to drain through that a lot quicker, you know, nearly instantly compared to the mesh is probably going to slow wave down a bit. Um, but if you're out there in the rough because maybe your furling jib or something like that isn't working and you need to manually take it down, it's not as stable mm -hmm. as that mesh. So with a, such a, a big cockpit, and as we'll get into in a minute, such a big uh, saloon, uh, there isn't a whole lot of foredeck uh, outside the trampoline out there. So the hatches are a little bit smaller than the other boats that we saw. But considering it's a 40-foot boat, they've, they've squeezed a lot of space in there. There's a nice hatch there where you can throw your, your fenders and whatnot. And this particular unit did not have a self-tacking jib either. No. So that was that was something else that we noticed when we were in the fore deck is that there was no self tacking jib. Right. Um, nice big, nice big windows to that saloon area as well. So mm -hmm. again, nice window to allow access coming right off the bow into that main salon area for cooling as well. But yeah, not a lot of space up front. Um, just again, this is a smaller um, catamaran as well. So right, this is. This is one of the two smallest catamarans that we saw, the Naughty Tech 40 and the Lucia 40. Uh, but this this felt bigger in almost every respect than the Naughty Tech. Mm -hmm. um, moving back around into yep. the into the salon area, uh, the salon area is maybe just slightly bigger than the Naughty Techs. Um, it felt a little more practical. It had a proper dinette in there. Uh, it still had the sideways helm station, uh, nav station yes. off to one side. A very small kitchen with a mm -hmm. with a tiny three burner stove, um, but uh, everything was there: sink, refrigerator. Um, I like the styling. I like the lacquered cabinets. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a huge wood finish fan everywhere. Um, <laughs> I do actually like the lacquered finish better. And and long term on the water, it may actually be easier to maintain and keep them cleaner as well. So I think we said is... that while we walked through the boat, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. Um, and again, because we're doing this after the after the walkthrough, it may be on the video <laughs> as well. But again, just ease of cleaning and maintaining the interior space is, is a big one. Right. Um, down. That's a good segue. Down below, yeah. um, there was a naga hide finish on a lot of a lot of walls. Yep. <laughs> which gave it a more rich uh, look and feel. It wasn't leather, but it, it had that. You know, today's synthetics are pretty darn good. Anyway, a lot of people don't realize that they're 
leather seated cars are actually vinyl. Right. <laughs> they're, they're, the vinyl's so good now. And the key um, with that too is it's also the white color to allow it to look brighter and cleaner down there. Yep. So it easy did, to clean. Yep. Easy to clean, but it, all, it again it brightened up the space in the hulls. Mm -hmm. So. So this particular yeah. boat was the um, owner's model and Correct. the owner's model comes in two different versions it becomes in a um, two two bath version and a single bath version mm -hmm. in the in the guest side uh, and this is the single bath uh, in the guest side which I think is superior um, each each bedroom does not get its own ensuite but uh, you do get a proper bathroom with a separate shower stall if you go for Correct. the two bathrooms it's you get wet bad. baths um, so I'm not crazy about the idea of wet baths and yeah. for me it's one less bathroom to have to clean that's right so <laughs> and you get a day head right at yeah. the bottom of the stairs for guests on board who are not staying so exactly. somebody has to go use the facilities it's right at the bottom of the stairs you walk straight into it um, you don't have to go through somebody's bedroom to get there uh, I think it's I think it's a better solution for this boat right um, so that that's the the guest hall the Bed. The, the, yep, the bed. There was so there's one that is not a walk around. The other bed on that guest side is a partial walk around. So almost, almost completely. Almost completely. It's probably, I would say, the walk around is probably halfway up the mattress on either side. Um, again, very, very clean, very mm -hmm. white in that particular those bright. particular guest rooms. So they were very, very bright. Um, so there were windows um, behind the beds as well as to the side, and then obviously those deck hatches as well, mm -hmm. allowing all that natural light into that um, into that space. And I believe there were three opening hatches in each of those guest so. rooms. Yeah, the, the uh, has a nice long, narrow window above the headboard, uh, and the side port lights aren't quite as big as what the Naughty Tech 40 had, but the, mm -hmm. the Naughty Tech 40 just got an upgrade this year, so I wouldn't be surprised if the the Lucia 40 got an upgrade next year or something like that to, mm -hmm. to sort of keep up with the trend towards bigger and bigger windows for more and more light, which is awesome. And ventilation. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, the bed, yeah, it's, it's a, it's at least halfway walk around plenty mm -hmm. enough for you to, to sit and, you know, pivot and lay down and have your head on the pillow. Uh, that there's enough to walk around, which is unusual. Not too many of the boats that we looked at had a full walk around even up to the 50 foot class, Correct. never, never mind in a 40. And it does make it easier to actually clean the linens. If you need to get underneath yep. those beds for storage, again, it, the access around those beds is great. Yeah. Very roomy. One of the better master cabins we looked at, um, had a separate bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the, the head, the John, so to speak was in its own little room, which is really nice um, on the owner's side, on the owner's yes. side. And separate from the from the shower, a nice big shower up in the front, uh, plenty of room up there, and uh, plenty of storage spaces all over. Um, you know, com comparing this to the the, the forty, uh, the Nautitech forty, the Nautitech mm -hmm. forty is actually wider uh, overall yes. than the the Lucia forty, and you get more space in the 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 hulls. Mm -hmm. Naturally, the hulls must be wider, which you might pay a penalty in in performance for that. But I think probably long term you're probably going to want comfort and, st and storage if you're going to live on it if it's a mm -hmm. stay at the pier uh you know condo on the on the slip setup and in this mm -hmm. size of boat it's probably more suited to that anyway mm -hmm. um maybe that doesn't make so much a difference right. but i mean plenty of hanging locker space mm -hmm. in both hulls uh, the owner's hull also had that sliding closing door. This particular unit had a full length mirror on the owner's side so again just allowing it to look larger, roomier, um, as well as allowing you to have that full length mirror while you're underway or while you're right. traveling. Um, I would say one downside I did notice on this boat is that the doorways, even to the bathrooms, were significantly smaller than some of the other cats that we've been on. So again, very similar to the, like, the model hull, you kind of almost have to go a little bit sideways to get through a couple of those doors. Um, so maybe narrower hulls. Um, and, and maybe an older design, um, and you know that that's a maybe a good segue to the next sure. uh, talk about uh, price. So this is mm -hmm. a, definitely a production cat. So yeah. um, you know, as opposed to the Antares and whatnot that are basically custom, uh, you can you can choose your wood finishes and things. Uh, you get just a couple of basic flavors with a with a production boat, and the, the options list is very short. Um, 
but the price is really nice. So this boat's base price is uh, well under 300,000. So I think the base price is 270 or something mm -hmm. like that. And fully equipped with every factory option, you're in the very low 300s. Uh, so a very affordable boat mm -hmm. uh, compared to a lot of the others. It means you don't get as many choices and things, but uh, the price is right. The uh, And to your point too, the, the, even though it's, it is a production cat, it does have a lot of really good amenities. I'm not sure you'd need a five burner stove on a on a catamaran. You know, that's not, not this size. Right. So the three burner stove that you get, the fridge and freezer that you get in this mm -hmm. are sufficient, uh, has solid state countertop, like, you know, so there's no laminate countertops in this, um, plenty of seating outside as well as inside in the salon. Um, you get three guests, you know, three cabins, one main and master cabin in this particular mm -hmm. layout and two guest cabins. So, I mean, it, the, I think the amenities overall are pretty decent, yeah. especially for the price and for production cat. The, uh, the options list that I did see didn't have a whole lot on it for cruiser type things like, mm -hmm. uh, wa no water maker option, things like that. Um, but it had your, your nice upgrades and you, know, you can get better electronics packages, bigger screens, more screens. Mm -hmm. Um, the the three basic packages uh, basically get you the things that you really need and want anyway. It's uh, basic electronics, um, anchors, fenders. <laughs> so yep. they get your boat into a sailing uh, ready situation. Um, so yeah, um, pl you know, pluses, lots of room for a 40 foot boat. Yep. Um, other comments I've heard, it's very stable. It's at sail as well. Um, nice nice handling boat um you know the price is is really good uh, i like the aesthetics and that's not everybody's choice you know that that's i can totally see some people want the the rich wood look finishes mm -hmm. i i prefer the more modern sleek yeah. stylings um but this boat did still have a decent amount of wood to it so it yeah. did have the the teak runners out in the sol outdoor salon. Um, it did have the wood table out in the salon as well. Um, which and veneer is, you know, finishes inside. Correct. And whatnot, so it's, it's not devoid of wood. Um, right. And that was more in the kitchen side of things yeah. and the indoor salon area. Um, downsides. Um, yep. It's probably going to suffer a bit on performance. Uh, it's wider hulls. Yep. It's uh, you know nearly 12, 11% heavier than the, the Open 40 with a substantial amount less sail area too. Uh, so it's, it's going to suffer a bit in performance more than likely. Um, so those, those are my pluses and minuses. Yeah. So, I mean, again, for, for the price for this cat, I think it, it, the amenities that it does have are good. I think the water maker would be a really, really important option. Um, again, it depends on how you're going to use the cat. Um, are you going to be sailing and living aboard or is mm -hmm. this going to be something that you're going to have hookups to? Uh, again, minuses for me, doorways are a little, little small. Um, but again, as if this is a very stable boat, there's not all that much rocking and rolling. I don't really see the need to have the doorways and the hallways quite as tiny. I think it's made more to just give you more living <clears throat> and moving space inside those rooms. Um, but again, just for ease of people getting in and out. Uh, overall, the kitchen was pretty decent. Again, no U-shaped galley or anything for this, but again... No fiddles. You know, there, there's no fiddles on this either. Um, handrails as well on the outside. So again, getting up towards that trampoline. Um, there were stainless steel bars for a portion of it, maybe halfway from the rear of the boat mm -hmm. um, up towards the mast. But again, only halfway. So then, then you're kind of either looking at the lifelines on the side or you're... Grabbing the rain gutter. Yeah, gr grabbing that little bit of a rain gutter that's there. And that handrail was pretty high. Mm -hmm. um, so I could reach it as an adult, but, you know, someone who's a little bit shorter than I am maybe would have struggled a little bit because their arms would have been up and over their head. Agreed. Um, again, no self-tacking jib on this either. So I would really like to see in a catamaran, even if it's 40 foot size, to have the self-tacking jib. It just makes right. things easier. But agreed. Uh, that's about it for me. Okay. Well, uh, next week we'll get into uh, another Fountain Peugeot yep. catamaran. We'll go up to the 42 and uh, take a look at what that has to mm -hmm. offer and see how it compares to the 40. And uh, see you next week.